Good morning, class. Today we're going to do a landscape painting using Photoshop. So uh, hopefully you have a folder on your desktop that is called Landscapes. So we're going to look into that folder and get started. So here I've got my folder for landmarks. And you can see the uh, different images here. I think I'm going to do Pyramids of Giza. So I'm just going to grab it and I'm going to drag it down here to Photoshop, which will open up here. These are great examples of both geometric and organic shapes being used together in one image. So here we go. You can see I've got the pyramids here. Uh, these are geometric shapes, triangles. And yet I've also got clouds and some sand dunes out here in the front. These are organic shapes. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. So I like a little bit of a bigger working space. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make my new layers. So I'm going to go layer, new layer, and I'm going to call this one paper. Okay. And my paper layer, I'm going to lay down a paint bucket right here. And I'm going to grab a color that I like. I'm going to go to kind of a yellow, a little more gold. I'm really just looking for almost a cream, kind of an off-white. Of course, this is kind of a desert scene, so I'll go a little bit darker yellow. Hit OK. And I'm just going to dump that paint bucket over the top. Then on my paper layer, I'll lower my opacity down to about 45% so I get the tracing paper that I want. Now I'm going to do it again, layer, new, layer. And this can be my paint layer, A-I-N-T. Okay. And now I'm ready to pick a brush. I think I'm going to do this in kind of wide, almost a pastel kind of look. So I'm going to pick my brush here. And I'm going to go, uh, this time, dry media brushes. Okay. And uh, let's see, let's try pastel on charcoal paper. This is the first one. It's about the size that I'm looking for to a 63 sounds good. So that's not, uh, that, that's, that's gonna work for me. Uh, I'm gonna real quick hide my paper layer so I can use the eyedrop tool just to get started. And I'm gonna grab the biggest piece of this pyramid color right here. It came out a little darker than I would like, but that's okay. Turn my paper layer back on and go back to my brush. I'm using a 45% opacity, so that dark, dark that I got it shouldn't be too big of a problem. I'm gonna make sure I'm on the paint layer, and then I'm just gonna kind of lightly paint in the shape of this pyramid. You can see the texture coming out in this charcoal on paper that I'm using. And now I'm just going to go ahead and make my own adjustments. It gets a little bit lighter on that left hand side. Careful not to go over here. I'm going to paint that in. And I'll use that same light color actually on this piece over here. I'm not too worried if I go a little bit over here and there because I can always go back and I'm going to fix some of that later. Do this pyramid over here. I'm really just laying down some color right now. I'm going to put in some details later. This back pyramid is quite a bit lighter, so I'm going to go here and fill in this area, not to go over that shadow there. And it gets even lighter on the back. Fill that in. That's pretty good. Uh, I've got these little pyramids up in the front, these little pieces here that I'll just kind of do a number on real quick so I get some sort of a look. Lighten up again and just fill in. Now what we can do 
is I can turn up the opacity again on my paper layer and get an idea. This is kind of where I'm going with my pyramids. Uh, I'm pretty happy with what I have here. So I'm going to turn my opacity back down. And the next step that I'm going to take is I'm going to go back to my brushes and I'm going to grab a pencil. I want ah, charcoal pencil. There it is. Uh, number five charcoal pencil. I'm going to go up to about a 10. That's a little more what I want. And I want a black. It's going to come out. I actually want even a little bit gray. Kind of like so. Eh, somewhere in there. Uh, my opacity is still okay. So now I'm going to make sure that I'm on the paint layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start to sketch in some of the details here. Especially some of the edges. Now that I'm looking at this, I probably could have used a thicker pencil. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and make it a little thicker now. I'm going to go up to about a 16. And I want it to be pretty, pretty heavy. Even now, it's probably not thick enough. I'm getting a lot of edge that I don't want. Feeling like I'm unhappy with this pencil I picked. Charcoal pencil. Well, that's the one. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Let's make this a 20. Let's lower the hardness down to about 70%. Oh, that's more like it. Yeah, nice soft pencil. That's more what I was after. Uh, I'm just going to put some details on my edges here. Mess that one up a little. But it's okay. It's art. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to look nice. I'm going to do some shadowing. Got another edge here. Kind of a rough edge there. There we go. That's the effect I'm after. I'm going to redo this outside edge. This is a really important part of the edging. And we've got this one back here. It's a little flat on the top. I'll do this outside edge. And then just kind of a hint of this edge here. And I've got some shadows down here those in down at the bottom. We'll put more shadows in later. It'll be okay. Big shadow across the bottom here. There's a lot more things that we can put in. And we can also put in the effect of some of the like pyramid steps just to give some idea. There's a little more shadow on this side. I will do some more over here because we know the pyramid is made out of steps. So if we do a lot of these side strokes, just use some lines here. We give some of that impression of the steps. Let's take a look at this paper. Raise this up. And you can see right here, uh, I'm pretty happy with this. This is looking like a, a pretty nice, like, charcoal pastel colored sketch. Uh, if I was to keep going here, I would continue to sketch in, um, for example, the desert area down here. And then I would do some color up here, uh, maybe do a really light paint of the sky and some really nice, light, fluffy clouds. But uh, we don't really need to get into that today. What you have here is a really nice start, so uh, let's go ahead and get to work.